Hey guys, as you can see, we got a new one today. This is the Keyword Study Bible, which was sent to me by AMG Publishers. Um, I want to thank them for um, being really gracious and kind and, and um, really mailed this out fast to me. And there is no strings attached to this review, um, but I did want to say thank you very much for sending it and sending it so fast. So, thank you guys. Anyways, this is the new King James. It comes in King James, NASB, NIV, ESV, and it's soon going to be in the um, Christian Standard Bible, the CSB. So in March uh, on the 15th, if you guys love the CSB um, and you like this review or have one of these Bibles and want a, a version of the CSB and a keyword, you will have, you will have it. So that is really cool, guys. So anyways, let's jump into it. This is the box that comes in, um, your typical clamshell, and it's sturdy, nice box. Um, so yeah, you can study, you know, not study, but store your Bible up in that. Shows you what leather it comes with, genuine. This is the genuine leather. Um, it does come with, uh, I think the ESV comes with a Duraflex, and this one only comes in the genuine or bonded leather or hardback. Um, I'm not sure about the other translations. You have to um, look that up. They relatively run, all of the translations run relatively in the $50 to $69 range. And um, it just depends where you go. Christianbook.com has the most um, of variations of it. And um, prices are really good there. So I would check them out first. And then if you want, you can go somewhere else. Um, anyways... This is a very well-built genuine leather Bible. Um, when it comes to genuine leather, sometimes companies vary on quality, and I will tell you right now, this is probably one of the best genuine leathers I've gotten um, from any publisher. It is very, very tough, very nice. Um, you can smell that this is, uh, I would assume this is probably cattle. Um, it does have a very strong leather aroma, almost like you just walked into a cowboy shop or something with some leather boots. So, very nice on that. It has a nice rounded spine. It is a stitched Smith sewn, Smith sewn binding. So, it is very sturdy. You get a nice curve to your book block because of that round spine, which, in my opinion, makes your book block better. Um, I'll show you why. As you can see, your spine is nice, neatly done. You got ribbing that is not very pronounced, just tooled in and bubbled up from the tooling. So yeah, very nice. They do a crimp around the edge, which pinches off the, the cover and keeps it bound to the, the block or to the cover um, with your cardstock. So if it does come unglued, which I don't think it ever will, but if it does, the crimp gives it that extra sturdiness for that to actually not happen but it won't fall apart on you the binding is very well done as you can see plain flat and i've only used it a little bit i stretched it out a bit for this video um one major thing that i am going to give them an a plus 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 on and all my bible geeks that love bible construction stare in awe yes that would be overcast stitching. So with a big heavy Bible like this, if you're not familiar with that, the stitching that goes all the way through the text and keeps these pages together, a lot of your study Bibles don't do that nowadays, um, especially stitching, everything's glued. But a lot that do stitch do not do overcasting, which in my opinion is very important when it comes to um, big heavy Bibles like this. It, it, it literally keeps this attached, so very good. Very awesome. As you can see, you can jump in. Um, it has all of the normal things at the beginning of a Bible. I uh, don't want to drag that out. But it does have a very, very cool way of teaching you how to use this Bible just by um, pictures, and I like that. It makes it very simple. Um, some people might think, oh, this Bible is loud in the sense of I don't think I can use it. It just looks too difficult. Um, I found that with like the Thompson Chain with people. Um, this is very simple. What you get is what the Bible is about. The Keyword Study Bible is a strong concordance built into their study system. 
So as you read along, you get these bold numbers which coincide with the Hebrew and Greek. Um, Old Testament would be Hebrew, New Testament Greek, and it gives you the definition in that language in the back and matches it up to your English words. So relatively what this Bible does is it teaches you, um, the Bible teaches you through the languages, um, you're not really getting led by anybody's teachings or anything like that, even though it does have footnotes from um, Dr. Zodiates, um, Spiros Zodiates. Uh, he has some stuff online. He passed away in 2009, so he's with the Lord now. And um, he has a lot of videos on YouTube. So if you want to check him out and see uh, the things that he's taught on and just want to know him personally, go on there and, and check it out. There's a lot of videos. Um, it has the New King James references from Thomas Nelson. So these will be your typical New King James. So if you're used to those references, it's the same reference system. And then you get your footnotes at the bottom, as usual. And it has a very, very dark text. I, I like this text. It's very nice. The Ghosting's Memo, especially for a um, thick study Bible where they have to make the paper pretty thin. It, it's very opaque. It has a slight ghosting, but not... It, it doesn't interrupt your reading at all. It's actually one of the best ones I've seen for a study Bible. Very, very nice print, guys. They, AMG did a really good job. So, do as so jump ahead. I like that these headers have such dark numbers. They just have a neat bubble look to the text. Kind of an older style, yet mixed with a, a newer font. Yet older. It, it's just a beautiful Bible. I like this Bible. Um, this actually is the only Bible that's really put a smile on my, my wife's face in a long time because she sees so many Bibles come through. But this one she really has wanted for a long time. And I don't know why we never got it. It's such an awesome Bible. Um, anyways, I'm going to jump ahead here. Check that out, guys. The Christ in red is beautiful. Look at that Jesus in red. Now, if you're not a red fan, you're, you're just, you know, not going to like it. So I understand that. But uh, I love my red letter Bibles. And especially when a Bible does it right. An AMG... You guys have done it right. This is just amazing. And they use the red um, numbers for the red. So it doesn't get too loud. It blends just right. You know, if you did black, it might be kind of confusing. While you're reading, it might kind of mess with your eyes a bit. So I like that they did that. You got your um, chapter headings. So just a quick... Uh, shows you what it's about for each chapter. I love that print stays dark all the way through. You don't get this like huge difference in color. Um, as you can see, you get these keys. These keys coincide with the bottom. So um, if you're familiar with study Bibles, a lot of them kind of do that same thing. So you get your keys through there. Um, I just love the, this fa the fact that you're, you can learn um, Hebrew and Greek in a sense of learning what your, your, your verse is about. The more depth um, translation uh, and it's so cool that it comes in different translations for everybody. I, I really um, commend them for doing that. Being able to put out all of these in their style. That is just awesome. So here you got your grammatical codes, what they give you this card for. So that's for the Greek. So if you want to pause and look at that and read that. Gives you a better understanding of the Greek. Just really cool. Very, very good study Bible, guys. Um, so far, I haven't seen anything wrong with this Bible and its physical um, form. It has just an excellent binding. Uh, look at that. It sits flat. Just beautiful. The paper's nice. The gilding is just beautiful. Very, very solid Bible. Very impressed with this. As you can see, you got your script, script, ah, tongue -tied. scripture index. Um, it coincides with those keys that I showed you, so you just look up a book, and I think I would actually start color coding this myself, or putting little symbols like crosses and stuff in there. That's just uh, my thing for studying. I think I would love to be able to do that, and this would give me a, the ability to do that in such a quick way to look it up. So that's actually really neat. Jump over here, this has the New King James references, which 
concordance and goes on for quite a while. And then here you jump into the Strong's number system. So as you can see, here's Romans and the bold numbers there in the text coincide with that word. You jump back here and the Old Testament has it in Hebrew. And then the New Testament will be in Greek. And you just come back here and it gives you the actual definition of that word, what it means in that language, bringing God's word more alive to you than ever before. I mean, that is just so cool, so awesome, such a help for studies. We are so blessed to have people um, like Dr. Zadides, sorry, um, people like that, um, people like James White, uh, people that are so smart when it comes to um, the languages of the, the old uh, text and scriptures. Um, so thankful for people like that that can bring studies to us that didn't go to college and learn all these things. So, yeah. And not having a bunch of stuff down in the bottom is nice. It's not like a typical um, study Bible that has a bunch of, you know, sometimes um, denominational beliefs that they put down there in the bottom. Um, this Bible isn't like that. So I like that. It has a couple pages, or just, yeah, two pages here for some notes if you want to put in the back. Here is your maps. I'll go through them real quick here. So I want to show this Bible up against some other ones. So there you go. Typical, normal maps. Nice, slick, shiny. And as you can see, if I can find it here, it has... Now the best way to find it is to do this again. Overcasting in the back. And that's how easy it was to find because the binding shows it. It shows exactly where it's at. And there you go. So, yeah, this thing is built like a tank. This is one of the best genuine leather study Bibles I've ever, ever seen. Very nice grain that I assume this is not natural. It was probably pressed in. Um, I've seen other Bibles that do that, like your Thompson chains and stuff. So, whoops, my camera tipped over there. Sorry about that, guys. Back to normal. Anyways, here is the NLT the Tyndale. And as you can see how thick it is, it's about the same thickness. And as you can see, these are glued texts that I'm going to be showing you. So as you can see, it puffs out right there instead of being in. And what I really wanted to show is why it is so important to get a Bible that is not glued if you can. An AMG um, doing this, making sure that they're giving us a solid built Bible that's going to last you a lifetime. Um, and not fall apart. I, I just, I love that. It's so important, and a lot of people don't know about that out there. But, um, shut this one up. I was going to show something there. Here is the Thomas Nelson, New King James. So if you have one of those, as you can see, glued text, and it pops out. And, Bad. These glued texts are. And as you can see, it's tearing apart, literally. And this Bible has not been used much. It was a Bible that was given to us, and we barely even used it, and it fell apart almost instantly. And another thing. It drives me nuts is the red that you can just barely see and it gets really bad I mean you can't even you can't even read that from a distance it's so faded so yeah so kudos to AMG for making such an awesome Bible with good red ink um, this is the life application Bible and same thing blue text it has better genuine leather than most um, I would say it's kind of like theirs but still kind of uh, not a little bit thinner and um, it's a glue text so this one has fallen apart too like others one of my other favorite um, study Bibles life application it has really good red ink right there so but anyways here you go we have the new King James Thompson chain and that will give you guys a good look at the size so your footprint 
That's my wife's new King James and kind of shows you what you're going to be dealing with. So it is a big Bible. It's, it's heavy, but it's a study Bible, guys. So yeah, it's one of those ones you just keep at home and bring out to the table and your wife and you can use or your kids. And there's the R.L. Allen um, Wide Margin Clarendon, which is a pretty good sized Bible. And it's like right on the money with the width of the wide margin cleared in so if you're somebody who has this premium at home um, that'll give you an idea of how big the keyword study bible is so there you go anyways guys i'm going to finish that one up and uh, look for a future video of this one um, i just wanted to get it out there to show people how impressed i am of it and once i get into the studies of it and i'm sure i'll find out some more things um, i will do an updated review of it so anyways God bless, and I'll see you guys next time when we get a, another Bible to review. So, God bless, guys. Take it easy.